had a client that wanted her date to match her to a T. So what we decided we'd do is we took the hem from her gorgeous gold and black dress and we decided to make an accent for her date. After cutting off the hem of her dress, I took the scraps and cut them up so that I could use it as a pattern for his bow tie. You'll need to add interfacing to the back so that it'll give it some stability, not a heavy interfacing, but a light interfacing. Once the interfacing has been pressed in place, we're gonna now take our fabric piece and fold it in half long wise. Once that's done, I decide to trim the piece down so it, the bow tie wouldn't be so big. So I cut off a little bit of the sides of the black fabric because we only want the gold to show. Next, you're going to fold the ends in on top of each other and this will actually make the bow. As you can see, the bow has been made and now I have stitched the bow down in place or stitched the ends in place. So we're ready to add the knot as well as the neckband. I have made a neckband from a scrap piece of black satin that I had. And of course, this is way too big for the, for the date neck. So we're gonna cut it down as we attach the bow. Now we will insert the neckband on top of the bow. As you can see, I have the knot made and I've got it folded over. And I have the, the bow sitting on top of the knot. I have the band on top of the bow. Now we're ready to join them together to stitch them in place to make our bow tie. Here the knot has been folded over on top of the neckband and it's ready for hand stitching. Now we're ready to add our hardware to the bow tie, which means we've got to add our bow tie clip, our bow tie hook, and the adjuster. We start by sewing the, the clip first, which you just wrap through the clip and we're going to roll it over and stitch it in place. Next we add our adjuster. This will allow the um, gentleman to adjust the neckband to fit his neck. As you can see from this photo, the hook has been added and the adjuster has been added as well. So now we're ready to add the eye. From this photo, you see I'm adjusting or I'm inserting the fabric into the adjuster so that it can be easily slid from left to right to um, widen or narrow the neck measurement. A beautiful bow tie would not be complete without a pocket square. Of course, we don't have a perfect square, so I'm showing you in this photo how you take an oblong square or rectangle and turn it into a neat pocket square. We start by folding one corner in and we're going to fold the second corner in and this will give us a nice point at the top that will be nicely finished. And as you flip it over, now you see the finished triangle or that would go inside of the pocket square to match the bow tie. Now the bow tie and the square is complete. Now you're prom ready. Happy sewing.